Hello, hello, welcome to my studio, welcome to this video. So in these videos I usually just share what I'm up to in my art practice and things that I'm thinking about. So I thought I would do exactly that in this video. I am thinking as I come to the end of the year that I will gather together my sketchbooks from the whole year and just look at them with an inquisitive eye and see if there are any things that are within my sketchbooks that I want to remember, that I want to take forward, that I want to develop, that I want to use as a kind of signpost or route map to what I'm going to be getting up to in 2024. I like to set a few intentions for the year ahead and just take stock a little and I find gathering together some of the things I've created and thinking about them with a more reflective kind of inquisitive I am just taking note of the things that I want to remember, the things I want to do more of, the things I want to do less of, and setting a few intentions for the coming year is helpful for me. Now I'm not one for big, you know, New Year's resolutions, but I do like to think about and articulate to myself how do I want my art making to feel to me in the coming year. And I did this back in 2022, December 2022, and I just thought I would check in to see if any of the intentions that I set for myself actually uh, became a reality. I wrote a few words about how I wanted my art and my art making to feel. So the end result and the process of making art. Um, and I wrote bold, playful, joyful, re-energised, brave and exciting, more paint, more wildness unrestricted and unrestrained, enthusiasm and expansion. And I think I was coming into 2023 on the back of a couple of really challenging years and I can just see that I really wanted my art to be a more joyful, exciting, interesting place. You know, I think I have in some ways done that this year. I definitely have felt playful and bold and joyful in my art making. Brave and wild. I think are uh, things that I need to work on. It's a journey, isn't it? Another thing I like to do at this time of year is really just check in with myself about why I do what I do. I don't know if any of you have read that book by Simon Sinek, Finding Your Why. And I read this book, I think it was probably 2016, 2017, where he's really talking about finding your purpose or writing down what your purpose and meaning for what you put out in the world, really. And that underpins everything that I hopefully share. So I check in to make sure that that's still on track. And so this is what I wrote back in 2016. And nearly every year I just sort of go, yeah, that's still why I do what I do. My why is to make better art and to push my creative boundaries so that I can inspire others to do the same and to make the world a more colourful and joyful place. So whether I do that, I don't know, but that is my intentions for what I do. So I find this a really helpful practice to think about what I've done in the year just gone and set a few intentions for the year to come and to be clear about why I'm doing what I'm doing. Now, gathering together my sketchbooks is a job in and of itself because they are in loads of different places, under desks, on shelves, in different rooms, under the sofa, and actually just the act of gathering them together in one place has been very illuminating. It has surprised me and shocked me quite how many sketchbooks I've had on the go this year. And look, I'm a full-time artist, I'm always talking about sketchbooks, I run sketchbook classes, so I know that I would have more sketchbooks than most people, but <laughs> the number of sketchbooks I've worked in this year has actually surprised me in a good way. There's so much that I've created this year that I've completely forgotten about. So it's been a lovely trip down memory lane just to have a flick through them and to remind myself and I found all sorts of things that I want to do more of in the coming year that have their sort of origin story in some of these sketchbook pages here. So I'm looking at the materials I'm using, the colours, the subject matters, the feeling and I'm just taking notes of anything that is calling to me that I think, do you know what, I want to do more of that. So I've worked in a real combination of sizes of sketchbook. Uh, one of the really lovely additions has been working in big sketchbooks. For me, I've really enjoyed it. It's felt like I've kind of broken free from smaller sketchbooks and it's allowed me to be bolder and more playful 
the size has, I think, impacted on some of the things that I've done. And I think the sheer quantity of work in these sketchbooks has really reminded me of the power of compounding, how small kind of chunks of time can add up to a really significant body of work over a period of time. I'm not working in my sketchbook hours and hours and hours at a time, but I do work in my sketchbook consistently for an hour at a time over the week. And that just adds up and adds up. And now I look back over time, it's such a lot of work in these sketchbooks. And sketchbooks for me are the engine of my creativity, everything I paint, everything I create is birthed out of these sketchbooks. It's a really valuable process for me in my art making. And so therefore, because I think it's valuable to me, I make time for it. And I'm often working in my sketchbook whilst doing something else. So chatting to my husband or watching television or listening to a podcast or whatever I might be doing, I might also be working in my sketchbook. And I really find that seeing all of this art together in one place, I just know that there are so many things in these sketchbooks that I would like to take forward and re-explore and revisit. You know, I go back to sketchbooks that I've done years ago and I find things in them that inspire new things that I'm working on now. And it's one of the wonderful things I love about sketchbook is going back over old sketchbooks from this year or previous years. And if I'm looking for ideas or I need something for a project I'm working on, I know that there will be an answer <laughs> somewhere in these sketchbooks. And it just feels like a really wonderful support system for my creativity. It's like I've got my own filing cabinet of ideas and ways of making art. I can rely on it and tap into it and come back to it at any point. And because you might have, you know, a hundred pages in a sketchbook, that's like a hundred different sort of ideas all in one, really easy to access place. I just love sketchbooks and I'm slightly evangelical about them, I know. I genuinely think that sketchbooks have changed my life in many ways. Because I have worked consistently in a sketchbook for many years now, they've really helped me to develop my style, to understand who I am as an artist, to get to grips with what I like and love in my own artwork, to practice and to fix problems and to work out what I'm interested in. So I used to be scared of a sketchbook and think that my sketchbook was a reflection of me as an artist. And if I didn't create lovely things in my sketchbook, then I wasn't a good artist. And actually, I now know the opposite to be true. I've become the artist I am now because I've experimented and played and given myself permission to sometimes make a mess, sometimes not know what I'm doing. And, you know, the sketchbooks that I'm working now, this is not where I started. This is sort of, you know, 18 years in, this is what my sketchbooks look like. And in another 18 years, they will look different again. Sketchbooks have allowed me to document and capture the journey. And it's been such a lovely, interesting, life-enriching journey.